Joanna, welcome here. And you're from OGC. You have a booth here as well. People can come around. And it looks like it's getting emotional now. And <laughs> I'm curious about what you will talk about. OK, thank you. So in the next four minutes, I would like to share with you some lessons from the Emotional Cities project. Uh, and this project sets out to understand how the built environment can shape our emotions, so the way we perceive the city. And it does so with a pluridisciplinary consortium of researchers that includes uh, urban planners, uh, neuroscientists, and uh, other experts. So uh, at the core of this project lies a spatial data infrastructure that enables all these stakeholders to share their, their data in an efficient manner. So we, we have put a lot of effort in the development of, uh, of this SDI, so using uh, modern uh, OGC standards and other relevant standards for, for the different communities, using a stack of free and open source software, um, virtualizing everything into Docker containers to abstract from the, the cloud provider and so on. But actually, uh, I don't want to tell you about the technology, but I want to tell you uh, about the efforts that we made to, to make this, um, in order to make this SDI user-friendly. So, uh, first of all, uh, we used uh, modern OGC API standards, uh, which are more catered at uh, mainstream web developers uh, that are familiar with uh, technologies like REST and JSON and so on. But we also wanted to provide something for the traditional GIS users that are used to um, the first uh, generation of um, OGC services. And most of all, because this has a wide support in tools that they use. Uh, we also uh, created uh, pipelines uh, to ingest and publish the data into the SDI, pipelines for humans and for machines. So some people need uh, web forms to put their information, their metadata, for instance. Uh, but others, they use, um, they, they use um, applications. So they want to have APIs that they can use to, to ingest the data. Uh, and most of all, we created uh, extensive documentation. So uh, tutorials uh, on GitHub, uh, documents, guidelines, and a lot of webinars, outreach, outreach. So how did users react to this? Uh, well, uh, there, were, uh, there was a range of reactions. So some of the stakeholders, uh, they were able to uh, use the SDI without asking us anything, which is what we expect, you know, that uh, everything is documented uh, and everything is ready to use, so there's no human intervention, they were just using the data. But others had other reactions, like sharing data by email, asking questions, so not uh, what we expected. Uh, and I want to finish with this slide and uh, invite everyone who has feedback about how they use, uh, how they make their SDIs user-friendly to, to come and talk to me and share, because I consider this to be uh, extremely important. Uh, and it goes, uh, it, it goes beyond the technology, but this is what makes really uh, SDIs uh, usable. So thank you very much. Thank you, Joanna. And I think it was a good um, lightning talk.